Hey guys, and welcome to another review of a packer. I'm I'm just reviewing a packer today. <laughs> just a packer. I'm not reviewing an SDP, no sex toy, nothing like that. I am reviewing a packer that so many of you have been like fiending and asking me for for the last two years. So I decided to finally do it. And as always, my toys come from early to bed. If you'd like to purchase anything that I've ever reviewed or anything on their website, please use the link below. And I also have a discount code back down there that you can use back there. Calm down, Chase. Today is a Packer review. Today, I will be reviewing... Oh my god, it didn't fall on the floor. Reviewing Pierre by the New York Toy Collective. This is like the first uncut Packer I had ever seen in, had ever seen in my life when I first saw this. So the first time that I saw this was at the Philly Trans Health Conference and I was stunned. I was like, oh my god, this exists. I never thought that it could exist. And it was just so exciting to me that a packer could be uncut because all these packers are all cut and I get it. It's easier to make or something. I don't know. Most people in America are circumcised. I don't know. But a lot of people who watch my videos in Europe comment. They're like, why is America obsessed with circumcision? Well, here's the packer for you if you're looking for something that is uncircumcised and very good. This is one of my favorite packers of all time. So this packer, the color is actually caramel. It's not the lightest one. The lightest one is cashew. Now the reason I didn't choose the lightest, lightest one is because I actually got this at the trans conference in a bucket of toys that were um, slightly different than the ones that they sell. So something happened. So the reason why I got this one and I got it at a cheaper price is because there's a literally a little bubble like right here. Like let me focus on this. Do you see that? Just because of this little bubble I got like five or ten dollars off. Bless. So let's talk about aesthetic view of this. Lovely, lovely peen. So it is the squishiest packer that I have ever had um, and it's not like it's not the squishiest, okay? The Mr. Limpy is the squishiest that I've ever had. But I will say that this one is probably the, the, the nicest squishy texture. I can't explain the texture. It just feels really nice. And that's what, what sold me on this. Yes, it's uncut and I've always wanted that. But also because I feel like it's so squishy. <sighs> Anyways, so if we talk about the aesthetic value, I really like the way it looks. I just wish it was a little bit shorter because it does create a very, very large bulge, which I will show, of course. Um, but other than that, it does open up like this, and the balls are not bad. I've seen very, very, very worse balls on a toy before. It's just like very mi mirror image, you know? Like, balls aren't like that... Symmet symmetric? Is that the word I'm looking for? Probably. So this is what the tip looks like over here, okay, for the uncut peen. The issue is that it's really not retractable, which I wish that it was. There is no peen that does that yet, which is very sad because I wish that I could just pull the skin. I, I feel like it would, I would feel just so much, I'm not even in the screen right now, I just feel like it would be so much better. Like I feel like for my dysphoria and, I don't know, being able to just wear a packer that like, like, like retracts, I would just feel like this is my dick because that's what I want to have. Um, as always, the Packers, because this is not a stand to pee device, uh, it has a flat base which lies very gracefully on your uh, junk area, which is fantastic. You know when you take like 40 minutes to set up a room and then the neighbors turn on their music and you want to kill them because you plan to film like seven videos today? Yeah, that's what's happening right now. So I'm going to talk louder so that I don't feel like killing the neighbors. So can I just say that usually I put peens on my face and I don't know if I wash them. I washed this one. I know that I did because it's been on the shelf for a little bit of time and I was like, it's dusty, there's beauty here and I want people to really enjoy it because FBI. <laughs> Let me show you what it looks like in my undies. I literally just realized that I haven't been wearing a shirt this entire video. I was supposed to be wearing a shirt. Oh my god, whatever. So, let me take out this. This is my Mr. Limpy over here that I wear every day. I like it just because I feel like it's smaller than the Pierre, but I'm going to show you the difference in how it looks in my pants. So here's what the Pierre looks like in my pants. You see it does leave like kind of like a big bulge, but if you're wearing pants, it doesn't look that bad. Um, I really like the feel of this, and I'm going to talk that uh, talk about the feel of it a little bit later. I'm literally jacking off my dick. Don't flag this video, A. It feels great, and if someone were to touch it, I don't think, like, I don't want to use this phrase, but I feel like it would, like, pass the test. I feel like if somebody touched it, it would feel very cis. And if I compare it with the Mr. Limpy that I wear all the time, um, that looks like I have a boner. That's fantastic. It's kind of like this. And with, with shorts or with pants, it doesn't look like this. And I also put mine to the side. Um, if I was to put it all in the front, it would just be a little bit... Actually, this looks like exactly like the Pierre. Oh my god. I'm just switching dicks over here. Ayy. Um, yeah. Okay. Perfect. And what's really great about this is that you don't need a harness if you wear underwear like this. But if you do wear a harness, you could just do 
the cheap kind where you have a uh, an o-ring here and then a strap of an underwear that you sew onto the o-ring I will link the video in the description of a DIY tutorial that I've done and then you it just it just kind of like stays there so that the peen would just actually just be here but like I said I still love this packer even if it leaves a big bulge it just feels really great and like I've said in my previous videos I do wear skinny jeans and it does look good with skinny jeans I'm also sweating like crazy right now, so I don't want to go get my pants and try them on, but I promise you that it does look very realistic, and it doesn't look like it's too big. Um, this is actually the packer that Aaron wears, and Aaron is the person that I do the podcast with, um, and he loves this this peen. I love, ah, uh, Pierre, my love, my sweet. All right, should we just rate this and get it over with? Let's do it. So, aesthetically pleasing peen, I would give it like a, um, a probably like an eight out of 10. And the reason why is because the balls aren't perfect, but they're the nicest ones that I've seen, honestly, and they are very squishy. Um, the aesthetic look is very pleasing. I just wish that this was retractable, and I do wish that it was just a little bit smaller. Unfortunately, the company doesn't make them any smaller or any bigger. This is the size, whereas other companies, like um, the company that makes the Mr. Limpy, there's like extra small, small, medium, large, extra large. Like it's, It just goes everywhere. Dicks everywhere. Woo! Should you buy this packer? Well, like I said in all of my review videos, I literally cannot answer that for you. Um, but I can say that this is one of my favorite packers, and this is like, you know like they have those website, those review websites, and they have like buyer's choice or something like that? This would be a buyer's choice. This would be a, this is a great packer. It feels so realistic in my pants. It is a little bit harder than the Mr. Limpy, so I don't know, I can't explain the feeling that when I put it in my underwear, it feels cis. And if there was just the retractable part, I, I would just, everything would be perfect. I would just feel like this is the dick that I was meant to have. And I would deal with the, the maybe the, the larger, the larger size, because you know what? It is a little bit big, but some cis guys have big dicks that are flaccid and you gotta deal with it, so we gotta deal with it. So this is a 10 on 10 recommendation packer for you to get. If you want to buy this packer, please don't forget to check out the link below. Early to bed is fantastic. If you see any toys on the website that you'd like me to review, and if you don't see them behind here and I've never reviewed them before, please put them in the comments. I wanna review everything that you want me to review. Um, let me know what you think in the comments and let me know if you are trans, guy, masculine, non-binary, whatever, if you were born cis, what, do you think that you would have a cut or uncut dick? Or maybe answer the question, do you want an uncut or cut dick? I'm just interested. I, it's just that's a random place. And maybe like tell me what part of the world you're in. Yeah, let's do that. It's just, it's like, I'm like social scientist, so like this is like, oh yeah. Oh, let me just jack it off. Oh my god, I need to stop. Children, watch my videos. Thank you for watching. Think of B. I will see you guys later. Bye. As I roll this dick on my face, it has been on Ash's genitals. Completely inside you. Which lips. <laughs> oh my god, my wiener has been squishy. Licking of the butt is amazing. <sighs> Why is it that every time I got a goddamn dildo in my fucking hands, I just want to pretend like I'm on a call that is very important with Amazon?